Hey, we got another unboxing at the Tiki Bar today. I got a whole bunch of stuff to show you. It's been pretty cold out. Last night was six degrees, 30 mile an hour winds. I don't know what the wind chill was, but needless to say, I'm not out in the garage messing around with stuff and I'm not doing a lot of mileage testing because it's just tough to do when it's cold and crazy like this. But I got cool stuff to share, so let's get going. This one's all about OBD. I've always been a plug-in cable guy. And I've always been an OS, an iOS guy. Right, so in the beginning, the first thing I did was pick up the scan gauge. Scan gauge 2. Great gauge. Also picked up a scan gauge E along the way. Another great one. But for the Apple stuff, it was the GoLink cable, right? Plugs right into the OBD port. Hard wire. You're limited to how far you can go away with it. But it worked well for me. And if you watch the Sonata video that I shot in the midst of the heat wave last summer, you'll see the cable snaked across the dashboard. It just fit to where I had had it mounted up. To be cool these days, you gotta be wireless. And there's two ways to go wireless with OBD. Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is an Apple thing, primarily. And Bluetooth seems to be primarily an Android thing. So not having an Android tablet and needing to test a bunch of Android apps, I thought I better go for a Bluetooth dongle. And so I picked up this guy from OBD Link. Scantool.net. It's the real deal chip. You can get less expensive ones on eBay. You know, you see those $10, $20 dongles on eBay, but they're using a knockoff chip and they can cause problems. So I figured I may as well go for, go for a good one, spend a little bit more. I think this one was like 70, 75 bucks. I'm trying to be really careful about what I'm spending on, but here you can get a good look at it there. You can see how the lights are set up. It's nice and bright green. They're working on a Wi-Fi version, right? So this is Bluetooth and they're also working on a Wi-Fi version. I don't think it's quite out yet. I've tested this a couple of times. First two cars I put it in, I'm not sure if it didn't plug in all the way, but I had a tough time hooking up. Third car was no problem. So I'm not sure what was going on there, but maybe it was just a winter time thing. So 75 bucks there. I needed an Android device. I have, uh, I have an iPhone, right? I've always used, used an iPhone, I'm using a 4S now. And I wasn't about to go buy another phone, set up another plan, so I thought, I'll go for a tablet. But I didn't want to get a wife, I didn't want to get a, a, I didn't want to get a cell plan with the tablet because that's expensive and they lock you in. So, more bargain hunting. I picked up an original. Nexus 7. Got this guy at Staples and uh, it's pretty cool. Different, you know, if you're used to the iOS stuff, going to, to Android is, is definitely different. Get the little thing on the side here to start it up. And then you swipe and there you go. It's just Wi-Fi though. Now it's, boy, these apps need to communicate to the internet. What am I gonna do? I thought, hotspot. All right, more careful shopping. And, uh, oh, this, this was a wicked bargain. Hold on one sec, let me tell you what I paid for it. Staples, uh, it was originally like 200 bucks. This is in first gen Nexus. I got it for 112.50, right? Like almost half price. Not bad. And I'll show you the I'll show you the mount that I picked up for it in, in a sec. But uh, here's the piece of the equation that I have not fiddled with yet. It's a Virgin Hotspot. This is the Overdrive Pro 3G 4G mobile hotspot. Rather than going with a, a plan, a monthly plan with my normal provider, I didn't want again get locked into a two-year plan. That clicking here is the dog walking across the hardwood floor. 
didn't want to get locked into a, into a, a two-year plan, so Virgin offers like monthly deals. Pay as you go. Thought it would be pretty cool. I haven't opened this up yet. But again, more bargain hunting because this was, uh, where was this? This was from Best Buy. And I paid $59.99 for it. Saved 60 bucks. They're giving them away. I haven't even looked at this yet. Here, I'll do that for you so you can see what it looks like. And I'll do a, a, a more in-depth piece on this once I get it working. link to everything in, in the video so now it's a question of how do I mount this 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 tablet right how do I how do I get this thing how do I get this thing in the car and I didn't want to go for a phone because it was kind of small I wanted something with a, a large display that would look good on a video so Nexus 7 for 112 bucks made sense there aren't very many car mounts I haven't seen one in any store I've seen a couple online but never in person. However, at B&H the other day in Manhattan for uh, $24.99, I came up with this device. This is called the Eye Stabilizer. And it's two piece. One is a clamp that clamps on the back of the tablet. And two is a uh, flexible tripod thingy. Right? So you've seen stuff like this where you can just kind of claw mount on anything. But this will work as a tripod or as a claw mount. Right? And I'm thinking maybe I can bend this around the visor, the passenger visor. I'll show you how this guy works on the back of the tablet. So you basically take this Pull it out like that. Pretty secure. And then it's a, you know, it's a tripod mount. So we're just gonna screw this guy in. And there you go. So we can it can kind of work like this. You know, I, I used it at my desk the other day, like this. The, reason, the big reason that I had to pick up Android real quick was that I'm gonna be testing a new app called Dash that is very cool. It's got a lot of neat features. Can't go into depth, into depth with it here because we're not hooked up and I need to do it in a car. I'm waiting for it to warm up a little bit because it's still in the low 20s this morning so I'll shoot a second video and I'll show you how this works with Dash but that's it that's the OBD stuff that's the OBD stuff that we unboxed this morning we've got the OBD link from scantool.net and uh, the Virgin Hotspot the Overdrive Pro and the Nexus with the eye stabilizer rig. So I'll do an in-car thing where we pull all this stuff together. I'll link to it from this video, but I wanted to get this one up first so you can check it out, see what I'm up to. Even though it's the middle of the winter, I am still working on this. I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking for the bargains, man. I'm looking for the, the inexpensive ways to, to, do, to do what we need to do. Again, for most folks, when you're just driving day to day, Autometer Ecometer rocks. 
because it gives you that visual numeric and the colorful graphic gauge. These guys are always great too, but when you want to go deep and you want to grab lots of data, it's all going to the tablet or to the, to the phone. Most people are going to do it on a phone and there are more and more little apps. Dash looks like the hottest one out there right now, so I'm going to put it through its paces over the next couple of weeks. We'll catch you down the road.